my name is Ashmita Nana and I'm a counseling psychologist based in Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm also currently walking the dementia journey with a loved one. I've created this Dear Dementia YouTube channel to assist you, the caregiver, in your caregiving journey. So today our topic would be the link between urinary tract infections and dementia. So urinary tract infection, also known as a UTI, is an infection caused by microorganisms. So microorganisms are these tiny organisms that can only be seen with a microscope. A UTI is generally caused by bacteria, but sometimes it can also be caused by a virus or by fungi. So UTIs generally tend to speed up the progression of dementia, which makes it really vital for us as the caregivers to recognize the signs and symptoms of a UTI and to get the necessary treatment to clear the infection as quickly as possible. In this way, we can limit the spread and reduce the likelihood of possible fatal health implications. So perhaps let's just start off by looking at the typical signs and the symptoms of a UTI. So in younger adults, typically they tend to display the physical symptoms associated with a UTI. These may include burning sensations when, when urinating, um, an increased urgency to urinate, cloudy or bloody urine, as well as pelvic or rectal pain, and some may also display fever, chills, or nausea. But with people with dementia, um, the symptoms tend to be quite different. Uh, they tend to display more behavioral symptoms than physical symptoms. So if you notice a sudden or unexpected rapid change in behavior, this may signal the onset of a UTI. So some of the symptoms that you may notice in terms of a UTI with a person with dementia includes delirium. So a sudden increased confusion or disorientation, uh, possible increase in agitation or withdrawal, unexpected falls, sudden onset of incontinence, or changes in, in eating patterns or sleeping patterns. Researchers are not absolutely sure um, of the reason of the delirium as well as the additional behavioral symptoms uh, that present in, in older adults. So some of the risk factors uh, that we do know of in older adults is that they have a difficulty in emptying the bladder completely. So people over the age of 65 tend to be at higher risk of developing a UTI. Urine tends to sit in the bladder, and as it sits in the bladder, bacteria begins to develop. Some of the other risk factors for older adults include using incontinence pads or a catheter to empty the bladder. Um, another risk factor includes a suppressed immune system. Uh, older adults, uh, their, their body's defense tends to be a little bit lower in terms of fighting against infection. And also having an enlarged prostate is another risk factor for developing a UTI in older men. So let's perhaps look at some of the uh, ways in which we can reduce the risk of developing a UTI for the person with dementia. So the first suggestion would be to monitor fluid intake. People uh, with dementia um, tend to uh, not drink as much fluid as they typically should. So encourage the individual to have at least six to eight glasses of fluid per day. Drinking fluids can be encouraged by finding out what the person enjoys drinking. For instance, some may enjoy drinking water, others may prefer juice, and try to make those type of fluids that they enjoy available and visible throughout the day. Then another suggestion would be to prompt bathroom use. So the person with dementia may not, out of their own, decide to go to the bathroom uh, several times a day. So we as caregivers should encourage the person to use the bathroom regularly, approximately between two or three hour intervals. In the later stages of dementia, the person may have find difficulty even finding the bathroom. It may be necessary to make signs or uh, put up a picture on the door uh, to indicate that that is the location of the toilet. Then it's also important to avoid constipation. So by providing foods that are high in fiber, um, as well as encouraging exercise, one can prevent constipation and thereby further reduce the risk of a UTI. And then lastly, I think it's also important to promote good hygiene. So encourage a good hygiene system or routine in the form of daily showers or where absolutely necessary, perhaps the bed baths. If the person with dementia is using adult diapers, change the diapers or the incontinence pads regularly and obviously as soon as they are soiled. 
So should you suspect that there is a UTI in the person with dementia, seek medical intervention immediately. Uh, UTIs are known to speed up the progression of dementia, but they may not necessarily cause permanent damage if they are identified and treated quickly. I hope that you found this video useful, and if so, please subscribe to the Dear Dementia YouTube channel. I'll be posting other similar videos to assist you, the caregiver, in your caregiving journey. Thank you for watching and good luck with your caregiving journey. Take care.